Hi, welcome to Social Research Insights. This is in fact one of my series of presentations on how to do simulations through ng-spice installed in Ubuntu 16.04. Both ng-spice and Ubuntu are open source software. Anybody can install ng-spice by merely going to this uh, software package or repository or alternatively you can also go through the terminal where you just have to install where you just have to execute a command sudo apt-get install ngspice once you install ngspice and then you can simply start writing the code for different circuits uh, to simulate different circuits in any plain text application and you can you can just go through some of my previous videos few of my previous videos so that it is easy for you to install and start writing the code in ngspice in this video i'm going to deal with a small circuit with uh, four devices uh, device number one is a voltage source device and rest of the three devices are resistors with uh, three different um, values and i'm going to take some arbitrary values for this experiment and first i'm going to uh, explain that in a simple calci spreadsheet uh, and the simulation is uh, all about uh, connecting the resistors in series to a voltage source. So what first let me explain my schema so that it is very easy to comprehend the, the, the experiment. And this is voltage source and I am going to simulate this circuit uh, with a 9 volt battery and this source is connected through three uh, arbitrary uh, resistors connected in series. So this is R1 the value is going to be 3 kilo ohms resistance and this is R2 and the value is going to be 10 kilo ohms resistance and this is R3 the value is going to be uh, 5 kilo ohms resistance I just uh, the took the values th very thoughtfully so that uh, the computations are rather easy for us to carry out. Uh, if you see the values that I have intentionally taken so that the total amount of resistance in the series circuit is 18 um, kilo ohms. And now uh, in a series uh, circuit the question is about the voltage. So we need to know rather we would like to know what is the voltage across the first resistor and voltage across the second resistor and voltage across the third resistor and in series circuit in any series circuit the the current passing through the circuit always remains constant so the the i total i total is equal to uh, i r1 is equal to i r2 is equal to i r3 so this is uh, how but whereas the voltage tend to differ say e total is never equal to e at r1 or e at r2 or something like that so we need to compute the the voltage in the circuit at different places with the help of this simple uh, observation that the current uh, in the circuit always remains constant so how are we going to do that so the the plan is very simple i'm just going to uh, take a i'm going to show you this numerical calculations in a, uh, a a common spreadsheet program in ubuntu or any open source operating system is calci libreoffice calci so here i'm going to put my e stand for voltage and i stand for current r stand for resistor and as we know that the resistors we have three resistors that is 3 kilo ohms and 10 kilo ohms 5 kilo ohms the total resistance is always is equal to the sum of the resistors resistors values in the circuit so i can just use the function sum so that excuse me the total resistance in the circuit is 8 kilo ohms and we already know that the the total amount of voltage in the circuit is 9 but anyway we have to verify that through our 
current passing through the circuit so to know the total current which is constant in the series circuit we just have to use the ohms law and that is going to be the ohms law is going to be like this mm, let me choose a color ohms law sorry ohms law is going to be like this uh, the e is equal to ir and uh, where i is the current or is the total resistance i is anyway it is a constant value so the r value the total uh, resistance in our circuit is 18 kilo ohms and uh, we just need to obtain i value uh, through the total amount of voltage that we have in the circuit so by rearranging these terms we'll get i is equal to 9 by 18 kilo ohms which is going to be somewhere approximately 9 by 0.5, which means 500 milliamps this is going to be 500 milliamps and this current is going to be constant everywhere I'm going to paste a special and uh, control C so now it is very easy for us to E is equal to as I said E is equal to I R we just have to multiply I with R so we have 1.5 volts across R1 and the rest of the values are going to be like this and this is the voltage at R2 and this is voltage at R3 and this is our total and I can rather keep it as V capital E small r so that would make sense and R2 and R3 so these are the values now we are going to write the program in ng spice to check whether this uh, whether this uh, the values which we computed manually through Calci are going to be exactly the values that we can simulate through this series circuit okay so go to your uh, mm, terminal and there open any text file I like gedit and you can also use nano or vi to write uh, the code <laughs> ngs for uh, simulation so two uh, three resistor simulation test three resistor simulation dot cir and should be be careful that the for the format of the file always must be dot cir uh, or you must end the the file name with .cir so that ngspy is recognized as valid valid file for the compilation and again justly the, the as i told you the very first statement is the title of the program a simple circuit with three resistors connected in series and now voltage source as usually connected between nodes 1 and 0 and it's going to be DC 9 volts and uh, R1 is going to be between 1 and 2 the value is uh, 3 kilo ohms R2 is going to be between 3 and 2 and 3 the value is 10 kilo ohms R3 is between 3 and 0 the value is going to be 5 kilo ohms and we are going to do DC analysis uh, that start value is 9 end value is 9 and uh, the change is 1 so that our the source of voltage always remain constant and now we would like to see the voltage across uh, resistor 1 voltage across resistor 2 and voltage across resistor 3 along with the current in the circuit so let me end my program by finishing with writing uh, let me finish my program writing with dot n and say but i did a mistake here we should not forget to write the dc else the program may end up with uh, 
errors okay save close go back ng spice execute in batch mode test 3 resistor sim so this is the output the the amount of voltage that we have across R1 is 1.5 R2 is 5 and R3 is 2.5 let, let, let's go back and check our values that are computed manually 1.5 5 2.5 exactly the same values and let's check whether the current that we computed is correct or not here we have uh, 0.5 milliamps okay that if you multiply this 10 to the 10 110 then it will reduce to minus into 10 to the power minus 3 whereas you will be pushing the 5 right side so 0.5 into 10 to the power of minus 3 milli uh, amps or 0.5 milliamps exactly the value that we computed in calci so this way we can analyze the very simple circuit with four devices where one device is an voltage source and the rest of the three devices are resistors with some certain arbitrary values connected in series thank you for watching this video and keep watching my videos and if you like subscribe to my channel thank you